So, okay, remember I told you about that girl that, like, I showed you that girl that makes candles of, like, the shoes? And she posted, like, yesterday how many orders she was getting. And I'm like, holy fuck, like, people are literally paying. Because it's, like, 55 plus 10 shipping. The people are paying $67 for a fucking candle. So I'm like, hey, I, like, I'm the type of person where I don't want to do something if it already exists. Obviously, candle making exists. But you can do so many different types of molds that maybe are not as common. Because everyone just does the few common molds, which I think are so boring. Now, something that I could do is it'd be very difficult but i can get someone to make a 3d like image for me um and then that could be basically printed by a company with in like a 3d silicone printer and then you can make candles out of those molds so imagine i mean it can be literally anything but like imagine you could make like a 3d image of like for example like naruto's head or like kakashi's head and then you have a mold of that you pour your candle wax in you have a cat candle of Kakashi of Naruto of whoever 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 maybe I'll get sued but I mean it's not big enough for those companies to reach and the process isn't like that difficult like to make candles and if people are paying $60 for a candle of a shoe um I mean I think I can truly market and sell anything <laughs> guys we were, basically what we're gonna do is like pop in throughout this video and kind of recount some of the mistakes that we made but basically we want to introduce the company so after we kind of went through like with everything we agreed that we're gonna work on this and we're gonna work on it together and we created Doki Doki. so that's what we have today and we just shared like everything for our first launch well there's still a lot of details that are yet to come out like i've been working on this for a while and you know finally today Yeah. Stay tuned to see how long we progress in this business. Yeah. So this video is just our very, very first part of like the whole journey, and we just want to show you all the mistakes that we made because we made a lot. So let's get into it. So I have this whole document. I basically have a one drive folder that I share with my boyfriend and we're starting to fill some stuff out. So we have our 3D printing doc, we have our business plans and like choosing different designs. Um, right now I'm working on this general business outline of like what we're gonna be doing. Then I had to do a lot of information on how to legally open a business in Canada, in Ontario. So there's a lot of research that's going behind it and I want to do a lot of research so that I know what I'm getting into. So here we're just working on some of the models that we got. Here's Sasuke. I'm currently in Batch Lab. I don't know how to use it, but I'm going to learn. And then we have another one, Mr. Eren. So we're going to use these. Sorry, I'm so sorry. So, as you can see, the model that we chose for Sasuke and Eren, they're both really, really freaking cool. But they're also really detailed, like extremely detailed. And especially Eren's, it had those really thin pieces of hair. And I remember we sent that off to like uh, one of the print, one of the people who were 3D printing. And we told him what we wanted to do with it, that we wanted to like make it into a candle. And he even said, he's like, it's not going to work. Like the hair is going to break. It's not going to work. And I don't know why we didn't listen to them. Yeah, we thought we knew better, but we're here to say that yes, like these these designs look really cool, and like it'd be so sick if we could make them into a candle. But you, when you're working with wax, especially, you have to just think about how delicate it is, and things break all the time. So something like Anna's hair, as you'll see later in the video, that is gonna break immediately. Like there's no chance for those little strands of hair to even survive. Awesome. Exactly, and same with like Sasuke. Like Sasuke had that long thing on his back. There's no way that was gonna ever turn into wax, and his hair itself was also quite complex and he had really thin strands. Even to this day, we're still struggling with hair issues. Yeah, uh, naive in the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, we kind of just thought everything was going to just work the way we thought it was going to work. And um, we definitely got a rude awakening to that. So, um, yeah, over time, we obviously learned what works and what doesn't. All right, so this is the third print, like the 
basically program that I've downloaded because who knew that a 3D printer would be 3D printing printing would be so difficult to understand. There's just so many issues, but basically it's an issue with our file, it's splitting up into four pieces. Five pieces it needs to all be one. So we're gonna figure it out. So for some reason the printing company sees it like this. But oh wait, where is it? I see it like this. I don't know what the issue is. And this is stressful. Alright. So when it comes to like 3D printing and 3D modeling and stuff, it's obviously really difficult and we didn't know how to use anything. I remember we were trying to use, um, what was it called? Mesh Mixer? Mm -hmm. We were trying like for so long to figure out all these programs and like if you have a Windows computer, there's something that's already installed in your Windows. It's called Windows Builder, 3D Builder, and it's so easy. Like we can make a video in the future showing how to use it. That's the only thing we use now. It's so simple. You just put your items, if you put your model in, and everything that you need is there for you. Um, so we were definitely like, we were really confused because we never worked with these programs. And you know, we're talking to the people who have to print this and they're telling us that this this thing's not working and this thing's not working. And it was really stressful figuring that out. But the good thing is that like we quickly realized, we quickly found a much easier way to do things. And we also just didn't really print with anyone else. Like we just ended up buying our own printer, which yeah. you guys will see in the next video because well, Getting things printed is very expensive. And then we broke the model, so yeah, right away. Look what came in. This is the first part. The first part. Okay, so let me just open the box. So basically, this is literally the first package that we're gonna open for this business. And in here, I have um, some of the stuff that we're gonna use to make the first prototype. So got a lot of shit oh wait don't look at my address got a lot of stuff this came within like two days this is from voyager candle uh what is it called voyager soap and candle and oh my god <laughs> so this is bw921 it is a natural soy pillar blend and this is specifically for pillow pillar candles and this is a 6.6 .6 pound bag and it comes in these like little pastilles, pastilles, whatever they're called. Pastilles. Oh, I think some wax just came out actually. One fell out. But this is a big bag and I don't know how many candles this will make, but that's the reason that we bought it to test it. Okay, then I got this uh, 12 ply flat braid. This is five meters of it. And it's like, it's like a flat braid. Cause like I bought two different wicks to just test it out. This one looked like these look cute to me. Then, oh, this one, this is a zinc core wick. And I don't think it's for soy candles, but basically it helps the wick, like the zinc in the middle of the wick basically helps it to stay straight. I got a candle dye block. I didn't realize it's just one block. This is the violet one, but I don't think you have to use the whole thing. And I think like one block can color like five pounds of wax, which is almost the whole bag. Oh, oh, never mind. it's two of them. There's two of them. Then I got these things that are the wick centering um, tools. I got two just to test them out. But honestly, I realized that like I can just use um, clothing pins, like clothes pins, it'll be the same. Then I got these chips. Oh, there's a decent amount in here. Oh shit. This is the, it's, it's supposed to be gray, but they're kind of like, I don't know what happened. Maybe there's like some oil that's kind of releasing out of it so there's 20 in here and it's a gray color and then i got two fragrance oils for the candles so we don't know which ones we're gonna use and unless we just want to smell them so this is leather and suede so they packed it nicely with some electrical tape mm. oh that actually smells pretty good it does smell like leather like when i smell leather that's literally what it smells like so that's definitely gonna go for some character. And then this one is the whiskey bar. So we got more like masculine sense because the characters that we're dropping at first are all men. How do we let this happen? Oh, oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. If that was a cologne, I would buy it for my man. 
That smells really fucking good. I'm pleased. I'm very happy. So, yeah. So, guys, we just picked up our model. And look how freaking good he looks. Okay, all of that, like, um, extra stuff, like, that's all the supports. Because, I guess, when they print it, it needs to stay like that. Oh, my God. He looks so fucking crisp. Ooh, interesting feel. Look at the details, man. Look at each strand of hair, bro. The abs. Oh my god. So we just have to like take all of this off. I have no idea how. Loki might have to ask my dad to do that. Um, but he looks so good. He was printed in SLA uh, resin. Yeah, right? SLA resin. Holy just shit. Just break it off. Just break it off, yeah. Here we're making the mold box for our statue of Eren, which is outside. It's kind of a confusing process because like we don't we just you know we don't know we don't know what we're doing. But we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but we're trying. And then here we have our silicone. We're this is two pounds. We're gonna mix the whole thing. Hopefully it's enough. We're praying. And then here is the mold release, ease, ease release. We're gonna use this to help get the mold out. Here we are, getting him prepped for the mold with some mold release. It fucking stinks. And I was wearing my slippers. Now, if you've never really heard of mold making before or anything, it's basically um, where you can create a mold of an object using liquid silicone and liquid silicone is really really fucking expensive and you can barely get it from anywhere we keep buying it from this one store called sculpture supply canada but basically what you're about to see is us completely ruin a 300 dollars model because we're stupid and also just like completely waste 90 dollars worth of silicone because once again we're stupid and it's funny because like when you look at the model, like logically, it doesn't even make sense. Like it, there was no way that would have worked. Yeah. I don't know why we went through with that, but you guys will see. Okay. Ooh. Did I dip it? Oh, it's in me. It's in my nails. Ew. Wow. Looks cool. What if I eat? Oh, it stinks! Oh yeah. It actually smells really strong. I'm gonna pour it in, and then we'll pour the other one. Okay. I'm so scared right now. Oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, well, we have to get all of it out from here. Gotta scrape it. Yeah, we will. Let me just pour that too. Oh yeah. Nice. Guys, this is $45 worth of silicone. And it stinks. Mm -hmm. Can I see those bubbles? That's fine. It looks pretty. Guys, if you knew how worried we were right now. Just, just go ahead, just do it. Never, never be able to take it out effectively. Because 
think about it, like when you're pouring that silicone, it's just gonna wrap around each individual piece of hair. So now that hair is trapped inside. When you, with our model, we basically had it so that we can cut it on both sides. But when you're pulling the model apart like that, like when, sorry, when you're putting, pulling the mold apart like that, obviously whatever's hair in there, it's just gonna break like from the pressure. So I don't know, we didn't really think that through at all. The body and itself was okay and same with the base. Like those things could easily be like, you know, made into a mold, but the face, it was just, it wasn't happening. It sucks because we wasted so much silicone. Like that was four pounds of silicone right there. And it's still in my room. Uh, like we also realize like we need to uh, try to make uh, the molds in a way where in a way we officially use the silicone because like half the silicone used in that case was like kind of just like wasted it yeah. used for the model. So yeah, it was a very expensive learning experience. Very expensive. And that's the thing that sucks about like silicone and all this stuff. Like if this is something cheap, okay, whatever, you make a mistake, it's fine, but then shit's expensive. And we fucked up like multiple molds. Like you'll, you'll see in the next few videos, we fucked up multiple molds. Okay, let's take this off. You're gonna do it, I'm too scared. What do I even do? You just have to slowly open it. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll start because. Oh, okay. It leaked, but like, I guess it hardened. Cause like, you see? Right. Mm. I'm so scared. I put the mold release on too. Damn. The V. Oh, are the letters in there? Kind of. Okay, it kept a really good shape. Just like, obviously some of the yeah. edges need to be fixed. It's real nice. What do you wear? Why so? Versace. Versace. Which Versace? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And the base lid then watch. Oh of course. That. and the earring. Oh. All my drip is uh my you. This is where I'm nervous because I know the middle part is a little It's really thin. And last time my dad and I broke we broke the the, the fucking resin, so the wax. Oh wait. Wait. Did it break? You see it? Uh, okay. I think something happened. His face looks okay from what I just could tell. But, but there's something wrong with that section there it doesn't connect right yeah oh it broke his face his face broke yeah this this mold is just not good yeah, it's, uh, yeah. at least we're gonna see how the detail is though oh my god the letters look really good though. okay so let me show you guys the aftermath of our first candle honestly pretty great detail in what actually printed um, I think the base looks the best because you can read the words, doki doki. It does need to be like smoothed out. The face. I mean, the face looks good. The nose is a little fucked. I don't know what happened to the chin. And the hair is the issue. And then the stand broke. And then half of his body is gone. But as you can see, this is like indented. So I've never made a candle before. It's my first time. And I don't know what that means. I think like the wax like sunk in. So I'm gonna search up and figure it out. Okay, so when we opened the candle, we like realized that the base itself wasn't actually attached to the body. Then that little stick that we had going up wasn't attached to the body. And the body itself was like concaving inwards. So what we quickly found out with candle wax is that if it cools too quickly, it like starts to contract and basically it starts to like fall in on itself. So you can create like sinkholes or you can create like concave areas. And we still get that sometimes, like not all of our models have like completely flat bases. Um, but I guess what happened here is that like the body was way wider than the little like stick base thing. So it just had nothing to grip onto. And then, I mean, the face you can uh, just tell for yourself. The reason why it's missing so much hair is because the hair itself is literally stuck inside the silicone. Mm -hmm. Like we couldn't even get it out. So if they still, if the hair is stuck in the silicone, there's no hole for the wax to go into. It was just a tragedy, you know. We tested it out a few times. Oh okay, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll find it'll work. Nah. No. Not one single good candle from that. And yeah, you guys kind of just saw like a little, little bit of the journey so far. There's still a lot more to um, come ahead. A lot more mistakes. A lot more. Um, <laughs> a know, lot. Enjoyment, or just a lot in general. So you know, stay tuned to see what's ahead. Of course, like what we have already 
is linked in the bio. Um, we still got more videos coming out, so just stay tuned to everything. So as I said, everything's linked in the bio. We're trying to launch and mid-April to end of April. So I hope you guys will go and buy a candle because you're not going to find anything else in the world like this, like we said. And yeah, this is just part one of the Doki Doki journey. There you go, we have one. And we're going to definitely bring out more videos for you guys to watch our process. And if there's anything like specifically that you're curious about, like whether that be how to make silicone molds, how to, you know, like prep 3D models, how to make a candle, all that type of stuff, let us know. We can definitely make more in-depth videos like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. share.